Okay, this is going to be a lesson on what the Grateful Dead fans, the Deadheads, referred to as Help Slip Franklin's, which was a great medley of three tunes from the Blues for All album, which became a big part of their live show the last 20 years. So Help on the Way is the first tune, Slipknot is the second, and Franklin's Tower is the third tune. So we're going to start out with Help on the Way. This is a kind of a crazy chord down here. we got two eights down here and the two strings on the bottom. Then we got two tens, and then we got an 11. We want to mute the big string. So we're going to hit it twice and then hit it again and slide it down. Then we're going to do a little sliding octave thing. This is the E flat octave, six and eight, six on the fifth string, eight on the third string. Sliding up into the F octave there, eighth fret and tenth fret. We're going to do that same thing twice. So we're going to And then we have this riff that happens a lot in the song. So let's look at that riff. We got pinky sliding from six to eight on the A string. And then we got sixth fret on the D string. And then we got fifth fret on the G string. Back to the D string, we got eight and five to the six on the A. So let's try that a little bit. I'm gonna give you a three count. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that happens a ton in the song, so you definitely want to learn that riff. So let's look at the intro one more time. We got. So here we got an F minor chord. So we had. Riff. to C minor chord. Then we have this little ending riff that each time kind of changes, it kind of alternates. So it's like big string eight, and then six, seven, eight, six, five. Then we're going to do that riff again. F minor, riff, C minor. So that's the alternate. That one goes up where the other one went down. So this one, the second time, goes back to the eight. And then we have this little bridge part. That's one to three on the G string to one on this B string. Then we have this chord. It's like kind of a B flat uh, suspended seventh chord. So we've got the one on the fifth string and the three on the D string. And then we got ones down here. So we got. So there I'm putting my pinky in on the fourth fret of the second string and then going down to the third fret of the second string. Now the second one's going to go one and three on the B string. And then same thing with the chords. Now this third one, that started on the third fret of the G string to one, three on the B string. Then we're going to have this start with the pinky down here on this fourth fret, second string. So it's basically going four, three, one right there. Then we're going to switch this chord. So we still got the one and the three and the one from a B flat seven chord, but we still got this suspended fourth down here. And we've got this nine down here on the uh, third fret, the bottom string. So let's look at that whole bridge again. So, ba -da -da -da, boom, and then ba -da, ba -da, boom, and then we're back to our riff in the next verse. Now this one starts with an up. It's going to have three sets of verses, so it's going to go up, down, up. 
So here's the second part. Going down. goes back up okay and then these riffs down here those little riffs would change all the time so it's not always exactly that so maybe listen to the album and come up with some different ideas and he used to you know these guys improvised everything within these structures of the chords and stuff so they could always come up with new different stuff to make it fun each time now when we finish this last bit um So that one's going to lead us into the solo. Here goes the solo. Okay, so let's break this solo down. We got eight to 10 on the G string. That holds for a whole bar, four whole beats. And then you're gonna wait three sixteenth notes worth before you come in on this next phrase. So it's two, three, four, one E and. So you had a ba be da. That's why I went upstroke on that because that was like that last sixteenth note. So that's what we're going for all together. So we got two, Three, four, one, E, N. So we got eight and nine. Then we're going to the G string, 10, 11. And then back to this little eight. Back to the 11, 10, eight. You get that 10 down here in the D string. And then. So that's a little chromatic. We got the 10 here in the D string. And then 8, 9, 10, 8, 10. Slide that one down. So all together we had 3, 4, 1, again. So that was 10, 8, 7 with a slide on the 7. Now we're going to slide up into this F here. This is going to be 16th fret into 18th. Now this one's gonna start on the 16th fret of the D string, and it's gonna come as the second 16th note, so one. So you've got this chromatic down here, 15, 16, 17 on the G. So you got 16 to 17 on the D, and then 15, 16, 17. Then we're gonna go 15, 16, 18, and then 16 to 15. Then we're gonna go to that 18, back to the 15. Now the last part, so that was 16, 18 on the B, 15, 18, 15 on the little E. So one E and a. And that was 16 to 18 on the B string. Now here's a little riff, we got 16 to 17 on the G, 15, 16, 18 on the B, 16, 18, same notes, and then here's the next word, going down, going down. 
Now here's the end part. So that was little 15, 18, 16. So that part was 17 on the G string. And we got those little, you know, little band. We got 16 and 18 and a band on the 18. So one more time. One E and a. Going down. Again. Now the last bit. Okay, so that's going to be 8, 8, 10, 11, and then the chromatic, 8, 9, 10, and the same thing on the next string. So this is on the very second beat you start the riff, so it's like 1, 2, B, and a, and that's going to be that 8, 9, 8, that kind of thing again. So. Pause a little bit and then. Ba -dum. So that last part was 10, 9, 8 to 11 on the A string. And then we're going to slide the 6 to 8 on the D string. So the 8th fret of the A string. So. Okay, so one more time for the whole solo. verse going down That's going to be that first riff from the intro, that chord. And then we're going to have this riff. 8 to 6 to 5 down here to that F, that 8th fret. So it's got like four times of that chord thing. So here we're going to get into this F minor shape, which would be like a 3, 1, 1, 1 kind of thing. So once we've got done this last one, we're going to go. So that's 3 on the D, 1, 1, 3, 1. Then we're going to get into this diminished thing. So that's going to be 5 and 8 on the G string. 7 on the B string. So that's the whole, this is a diminished shape we're going to use a lot in this. So practice that a bit. So it's going to go. Then we're going to switch to G minor. jump up to the seventh fret and do another diminished lick. So let's look at what we got so far. G minor. Okay, 
bass. Let's look at that. Five, three, three, five, three. So we get into this like D minor triad kind of thing. So. And then that's a little, just a little shorty. And then we're going to the seventh fret. Then we're jumping way up. We're going to be at the 14th and 12th. We're going to go 14, 12, 12, 15 on the second string. 17 to 14, 15 to 16. Now this one's going to be 17 to 14, 14 to 16. So then we're going to jump down the same thing two frets down. So 15 to 12, 13 to 14. And then 15 to 12, and then 12 to 14. Then we got 14 on the G string to 11, and then 12, 14. Then that down two frets, 12, 9, 10, and 12. And then the up bigger string, D string. Slide the G into the A there. So we got from the seventh fret diminished. He'll do a little trill there, the 12th and the 14th. So let's do that whole thing from the F minor. Okay, and then we're going to be into A minor. So you do the riff kind of twice in a row there with a pause. I mean, you're going to do it again. And then it goes into a whole killer Jerry Garcia solo. Then when it comes back out, it's going to be the A minor riff with a pause after each one, and it's going to go four times. Then the fifth one is going to lead us back to that high riff thing and go into the next song, Franklin's Tower. So we got... And you wait for a while. Two more of these. Now this fifth one is going to go, it's going to go twice in a row and it's going to do the seventh fret diminished and the ninth fret diminished. Then it's going to work its way up to the high thing. So. Now on this one, you do it a couple different ways. You can go 12, 14, 12, and then we got the 14s on the D and the B to the 12s on the D and the B to the 11 and 10 on the same strings. Or you could go, so that's O, 2, O, sliding into the 4, 4, 2, O, and then your chords would be like A major, C major 7, 3, 2, open, open, open. Now Franklin's Tower is just the same progression. A, G, D. So that'd be kind of doing the tops of the chords, seven, six, five, five, muting the big ones, of course, to G. And then the D could just be those sevens, kind of. Now you could have that thumb up here getting the bass.
Now, so the thing with this tune is it's in this particular mode, this A mixolydian mode. It's like a major scale with a flat seven. That would be a regular major scale. But this one has that G natural instead of a G sharp. As we see, we got a G chord in there, so that makes sense, right? A, G, and D. So it's A major scale, but it has a G in it, where an A major scale would normally have a G sharp in it. So it has that little bluesy edge from a, having a flat seven in it. So check out this mode here. So that's the A mixolydian mode. So practice those notes with that progression of Franklin's Tower. And learn that um, that is basically the fourth position of all the major scales. Like if you want to look at the major scales real quick, here's G, first position. Here's the second position. Also the Dorian mode. Here's the third position. Fourth position is this one that we're talking about. And the fifth position is the Aeolian or the natural minor one. So the fourth position of your five major scale positions is the Mixolydian mode. So that's the one we're using for Franklin's Tower. So you could use any of the, if you connect those positions, like say if this is fourth position, this would be third. connect all five and do the whole neck and stuff so anyway that has been help slip franklin's hope you enjoyed that please like and subscribe i'm damon wood we'll see you soon